Hey guys, thanks for joining me for a thrift haul. It's kind of impromptu, I think. I'm not very prepared, so please have patience because I have everything strewn all about me, but I really am getting crowded again, as I usually do, in this room that is going to be a studio very soon, and that open curtain's bothering me. I'm getting a glare, so let me just turn around for a second and close that curtain. I'm getting a horrible glare with my lights. Hopefully that will help. Oh my gosh, what is back here? Rulers, I had a wonderful visit with my grandkids over the week. So uh, I have not cleaned this room completely. We had a lot of fun in this room. But I do have a wonderful thrift haul for you. Lots of Christmas things. I hope your holiday was fabulous. And your week is off to a wonderful end. Because <laughs> it's almost the weekend. So... Uh, I can just about smell it, can't you? I'm so excited about the weekend almost being here. And I did take Tuesday off. I wish I could have a four-day weekend. I wish I could work Monday, be off Tuesday, go back Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It seems like the, the week is a lot shorter that way. But I did take advantage of, you know, I do get some days off and all of that. So I took advantage of my uh, grandchildren being here, and I stayed home with them to have a whole other day with them without having to work. So... I did that, and now we're off to Thursday. Are you ready for a wonderful thrift haul? I hope you are. Let me start with this fabulous shirt. It is, oh, I just love when something exceeds expectations. First of all, I just love the scene. I hadn't even noticed it until I started reading the listing, that it's Lucy, it's Peanuts, it's a snowman, it's blue. I had one, told you I wanted to do like a blue Christmas theme, which I haven't completely done the living room yet, so I do want to do a blue Christmas theme with blue lights, so this kind of fit the bill for that. It's baggy oversized, which I love for sweatshirts, so it couldn't fit me any better than it does. I think it's a medium, actually. Maybe it's a large, but I, I'm just so happy with it. It's nice and pre-worn and pre-worn and pre-worn and pre-loved, and pre so it's nice and soft, and I love it. Got it on Posh. That's one thing I got. I don't remember what I paid for. It was over $20. You know how it is on Posh. It's expensive now, guys. It's uh, it's not expensive, but when you take into account the shipping and the taxes, it adds up there. So, of course, I, I made an offer. I think she actually took $10 off. It was worth every dime, in my opinion. I just love it. It makes me smile. I love everything about peanuts. It is my thing. It is my Christmas, my childhood. So, uh, remember I told you I wanted to do the 1967 theme as far as the silver tree well that didn't pan out after all i did order a small one though so i'll probably put that in my other room I ordered a small tabletop silver one because the other ones were outrageous they were 400 dollars on ebay the new ones had horrible reviews on amazon so i didn't buy that i went ahead and bought the green pre-lit white light so we'll see how that goes and i haven't had an artificial tree in a long time so We'll see how how I I think I will I think I will enjoy not having to go hunt for a tree and every tree that I've been buying that was really nice was over hundred dollars so in the long run I will pay for this tree in two years all right we have Swamp Picker in the house thank you so much for being here Glenn we have Mary Ann Hope we have Laura Lopez Ruth Bond Linda P thank you guys for being here so late at night. This is going to be a, a pretty long thrift haul, so I hope you stick around for the rest of it. And, and well, most of it, we haven't even started yet. Um, but if you haven't subscribed, guys, and if you're new to the channel, this is just one aspect of the channel, which is the thrift haul. I love to show you what I buy to love, like I love this shirt, or to resell at a profit on eBay, Etsy, Amazon, Mercari, Depop, and even Facebook now. So. That's what, what this whole channel is about. Please be sure and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done it. Please be sure and hit that little bell over here on the right somewhere. It's red. It will notify you when I go live like I am right now. And please let me know how the stream is doing because my husband is watching a movie upstairs. Um, when I go live like I am right now, we can talk on real time. Or when I upload a new one like I did last night, you'll be notified of that if you hit that bell. Okay, I started the... Thumbnail with these fabulous things. These were $2.92 a piece, but I really like them. I thought they looked both autumn, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas because they're pine cones and they're new. They're not even used. Uh, the inside is just, you know, nice and, and fresh and no one has ever put soap in them. But I thought these were really nice. Maybe I overpaid. I don't know, but I really, really like them. Hi, Pamela. How are you? And Heather. Kit. I think I might have said Kim. It's Kit. 
So, okay, I got that. And then, you know, I can't resist the mugs. This one was expensive, guys, but it was for, it's from Made in Spain. And it's uh, the name on it is actually written, I think, in um, the dollar amount. It might be written in their currency. I don't know. But it's called Tasas, which means cups. Tasas mango, which is mango. Vaca. And vaca is cow in Spanish. And look, the little handle is a cow. Is that the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. Look in there. He doesn't even come out over here. I just love it. And um, like I said, I did pay up for this one. It was $2. I normally don't like to go. Two is probably my limit. But I think I have gone up even up to three on some, you know, maybe some, some collectible Starbucks or something. But I couldn't resist this one, guys. I really think it might have some value on the retail market, especially being made in Spain and the name of it on there. So it might be, you know, who knows? It might be some kind of pottery house that, that has a, a reputation. I sure hope so. Hi, Donatella. How are you? And hi, Ruth. All right, so I got that for three. And then last month, guys, I forgot to show you these. And it's interesting because I thought these were pumpkins. And I was so excited to use them on my table. And then my daughters pointed out that, no, they're not pumpkins. They're actually apples. So they're little dishes. And I believe they were a dollar a piece. I got four of them. But I'm so disheartened and so disappointed that I cannot get them clean. I thought this little staining on them could have been like a hard water stain or something that you can usually get out. Uh, well, I haven't tried the vinegar wash. Somebody recommended the vinegar wash. But I know when I used to uh, work for my brother-in-law's restaurant, I used to help him out. We used to clean the coffee pots, the Benson or whatever they're called. When they would get that, that little stain, we would clean them out with hot water and salt and I tried that with this too and it did not come out. So if you guys have any suggestions on what this could possibly be, I just can't seem to get that cloud out of them and each one of them has it. So two disappointments here. One, I thought they were pumpkins, turned out to be apples. That's perfectly fine anyway, but I can't get the stain out of them. So that was not cool. I was not happy with that. All right, let me put these in here before I break them. Then I got a box of Legos for $4, and this one does have the, um, it doesn't look like it's this scene in here. It's actually another scene, but it's like all put together. It's like they just used it for storage. So I bought it for my grandson anyway when he gets bigger. because These are the smaller ones, right? But it looks like somebody had already put together the village or whatever it may be because it looked like it was probably on display. It had some, it still has like some dust on it. So obviously somebody had them put away, but it's full to the brim for, uh, actually I think I got it on sale with my discounts. I probably got it for three and it was smart $4.99. So I love that. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up guys as you walk in the door. Looks like 41 people are here. Thanks guys so much. This is a Bombay, uh, design. I don't even believe that store exists anymore, if I'm not mistaken. These are little nap, not napkin, uh, tablecloth weights. So you put them on your tablecloth so it's not moving around as you move about. They're really cute, too. How the hell I can open them? I'm not making a mess. Maybe you can see them through the box. I'm going to make all that racket for you guys. They're basically little crystal, there they go, They're little crystal drops, and then beads, you can see them there. And there, I think there's only supposed to be four, four corners of the table, I guess. But I thought that was cute, they were $3, discount maybe two, so I really like that as well. Then I got this collectible piece, I saw it from a distance and it really caught my eye. We did look it up. They were anywhere from, I don't think we did, we didn't find the cornucopia here, but we found other designs that were similar, little cats and little plain vases, and they were anywhere from $40 to $200. So I guess it just depends. Well, this is from Frank Coma, and that's F, just like the name Frank, F R A N K O M A, original creation. It is a US 
based company, a vintage company, and it caught my attention because of that vintage looking label there. And there's no chips on it. I could not believe it. And this was a little bit less than $4. It was marked $3.99. And that day I got 25%. It's so pretty. So I got it after Thanksgiving. I didn't get to use it for Thanksgiving. But it's very, very nice. I will probably put it up for sale as well. And if it doesn't sell by next Thanksgiving, well, it'll be on my table. But it is definitely a U.S. Potter. And I'll show you that label again in case you didn't get to read it. Frank Coma. I believe it's in California. Hi, Belinda and Linda and Terry. How are y'all doing? I'm so glad you're here. So that was exciting. That was just this week when my son and my daughter-in-law went thrifting with me. We went we went to two different thrift stores and uh, one day. All right, then I found this wall pocket. I was also able to find this one on eBay for about $20. I just looked up splatterware, wall pocket. It does seem to have a signature back there, but I can't quite tell because this was actually kind of, yeah, this was kind of like the logo of what I found on eBay as well. They did, I don't know if they had a set or just one, but it's really pretty. And I only got one for $2, $1.98 is what at uh, one of the other thrift stores here. So I got that. Then I think I have told you guys about Old Spice mugs. I have actually sold one for about, about $50, but the one that I sold, this is the Aftershave Old Spice. And uh, I think believe that's the name of the ship as well, the clipper ship. But the one that I so, that I sold for about forty dollars on eBay about four years ago, and I actually sold two because I found them at different times, and the same person bought them. Were was more of a shorter one that was actually supposed to be a replica of the uh, the shaving mugs, you know, the the shave soap. This one really looks more like just a. A coffee mug, but I don't know. Either way, it's still cool because the other one was a lot more shallow, and it, you know, you could tell it wasn't actually used for soap, but it was like a repop uh, edition. So that one did sell for forty. I'm hoping this one sells high too. And this one in the back says the ship Grand Turk, one of the first vessels to fly the stars and stripes. So I love that. That is really a well-made mug. Very very nice. Yes. And it says Old Spice at the bottom as well. So I really think there are some uh, hardcore collectors out there because, like I said, I did sell two mugs to at two different times, and it was to the same person on eBay. Okay. I did find another. You said, I think you saw me pick this one up. at Maybe I showed it to you already. I'm not sure. But I still picked up some pumpkins. They were not on sale or anything, but uh, I think this was $3. Yeah, $3. Nice little ceramic silver there then i got this huge one and you did see me pick this one up for two dollars this is the cutest almost neat it does not do it justice guys it looks yellowish in the camera but it is like a true uh what is that ice cream i'm always thinking about ice cream that peaches and cream ice cream that's it's just so bright and colorful it's really really nice so, and at $2 at the Goodwill, I could not believe it. No chips or anything on that one. Really love that. All right, and then as you know, guys, I don't sell clothing that much anymore. I'm not really sourcing it, but if I see something that stands out, either because it looks brand new or, you know, it's a brand that I recognize as, as valuable, I will pick it up. So that's what happened here with this bathing suit. And this is too big for my granddaughter. Or I'd give it to her. But it is a mini Bowden. It's a 12, 11, 12 youth. Brand new. You can tell it's never been used. And I got this for 50 cents. 50 cents at the Goodwill. Sometimes their children's clothes are really cheap. And I guess that day, it might have been a blue tag or a red tag. I don't know, but it was 75% off, and that's another reason why I grabbed it. And look, all of these are like just little appliques. So that was so cute. So if you're not familiar with that brand and you sell clothing, they, Bowden is a good brand for women's clothing. And then the mini Bowden is the one for children. And it's very, very, very collectible. So do pick that up. 50 cents, guys. Now I'm ready for the spring. 
with my pretty little, I guess, I don't know, maybe like a table runner or something. But it's so cute. It's got like these painted eggs and chicks on every corner. Hope you can see that. I just thought I'd put it either on my island or my table. And it says 100% Bon Wolf, whatever that means. Well, it says Frank Textile, 100% Bon Wool. But it's not wool like the fabric wool, it's wool like W-O-L-E. So I'll let you see that label. I'm not familiar with it, maybe you are, but that's it there. And it's a delightful color. I like it because it's not your typical Easter colors of pinks and, you know, aquas or whatnot. It's just really subtle, and I love it. I think it's so cute. And this was probably, I think they sell their linens anywhere from a dollar to three dollars. wasn't very much. I just picked up this huge bath rug. Again, thanks for me. This is brand new, still tagged. I think it's tagged $15. It's called the big one. It's from Kohl's. No, my goodness, $15. It's tagged $50. I don't know where I thought it was $15. $49.99 from Kohl's. It's huge. And it's a really soft, ter almost terry cloth feeling, the kind of allure. So I got it for $5.99. That is huge. I'm super excited about putting that in the upstairs bathroom. And what else? What else? Oh, this was that mini vase that someone said you're supposed to cut the flowers really really small it looks like a tire but it's super heavy and it is marked you're supposed to cut the flowers really small and it is a vase and you saw this one in my ride along as well cloth for a card table would be nice too hey mary how are you i'm so glad you were pleased with your bag i didn't see your comment till after i got um to reading it after the ride along but I noticed that you said that, so I'm really happy to hear that. So I love the color, guys. It kind of reminds me of that Hager I got over there, all of these lines. It reminds me of Fiesta, all that, you know, mid-century motif that's so pretty. Got that. Then I think I told you before that one of my daughters collects pineapples, and her classroom is actually the theme is pineapples. This one says crystal on it. Crystal Glass Made in Romania. And I got this at a discount, with my discount, I think for five. It was Mark 7. But it's so beautiful. It's a pineapple painted all through it. So a little bit of texture on that paint. You can feel it as well. But isn't that pretty? And not a chip on it as well. So I was thinking of, hi, Kathleen. I was thinking of filling it with some fresh, beautiful flowers and taking it to her school and having the, the front office put it in her in her room surprise her with that and she just had a birthday as well so plus huh, she's the one that was the owner of the dog that we lost of our sweet belly all right then i got so not that for her then i got these i realized when i was baking for thanksgiving all of my cups for measuring were faded so i found some today for 99 cents i only have a quarter cup probably two thirds or something and then I don't know. There's only like three. They're not all there, but at least I'll have something. <laughs> at least I'll have some kind of a collection. They're very nice and heavy. They're plastic, but they're very nice and heavy. So I'm happy with these. Got those today. Then the other day, I forgot to show you this. This is so cute. This was $4.99, and it's called the Stitch Story. And as you know, I do knit. So I thought I would save this for when my granddaughter is old enough to knit and show her how to knit. Now there are two balls of yarn, really pretty rose quartz. I mean rose quartz, thinking jewelry. Dusty rose, dusty rose color, beautiful wooden. Somebody had started it. Beautiful wooden needles. Because they don't make that, that clanky noise that... that um, the steel needles make, but uh, I thought this was really cute, and it's supposed to be able to make a, I think it's got a pattern there for the little infinity scarf. So I thought that was really nice, especially for that price. I think the needles alone would cost a lot more than, let me take a quick drink and see who else popped in. And again, thank you guys so much for joining me today. 
and hitting that thumbs up. I had another Peanuts shirt, and I sold it on, I don't know where I sold it, but I have a picture of Instagram wearing it. It was red. I think it has Charlie Brown in the tree. But now I got this one, and I don't think I'll sell this one. I kind of missed the other one when I had it. But I sold it for $55. Linda, how are you? Adora, how are you? I'm so sorry, Miss West. I'm so sorry about that. We all miss our dads when they're gone, don't we? And our moms. So embrace them with their, when they're here for sure, right? All right, I got another wonderful thing in the mail today. Going with my blue Christmas theme, I got Elvis. I got a beautiful cushion. This is a handmade cushion. Some lady on eBay was selling it. She uh, said it was in great condition, just needed to iron the fringe. She called this fringe. So I thought she probably didn't make it herself. Maybe someone gave it to her. But it's so cute, guys. Look, it's got Elvis, the Cadillac, Graceland, the snow all around it. So that's going to go on my, probably on this sofa or the other one. I need to get a blue throw though. And then I got him dancing over here by the, with the jukebox. So, um, yeah, I thought it was super cute. I'll probably use it on this side. I am an Elvis fan, in case I haven't told you guys. Hi from Washington State. How are you, Robin? All right, so I got that. Then I found this awesome sweater from J. Jill. It's super soft. I love this. Very. These are usually so scratchy. I forget what they call these. Um, this type of knit. I know you guys know, and you'll tell me they're Fair Isle, right? Fair Isle. And it's really boxy. So again, I hope it fits me like this one, nice and loose, comfy. And it's not scratchy. It must be some kind of a blend of acrylics or something because it is super soft. And I got it for $6 today. No discount on the white tags, they say now at the Goodwill. So they've got all kinds of new rules, paint tags or considered boutique. Now the white tags are not considered discounts. All right, I got this cute thing as well. I may give this as a gift and I may not because I'm falling in love with it. It is new, made in the USA, still packaged. I found this one on Poshmark and it is Cozy, Cot Cozy Cats. And it's Christmas as well. So there they are being their wonderful selves with holly and trees and all kinds of Christmas things. And then you can see the holly all around here on the pattern. So I love this. I think I paid about $14 for it, but I just fell in love with it. Christmas Cat Cozy, I think it's called. Cozy Cats. And um, yeah, and it's made me the same. I like that. That came all the way from Tosh. I found, now guys, you gotta tell me, are these called fairy lamps? Or are they called tea light lamps? And is it the same thing? Because this one is boxed and it is vintage. It says it's made in Taiwan. And it is from a place or a company called Party Light, Plymouth, Massachusetts, USA. So I guess it was some kind of party, you know, home sales type thing. And it is, like I said, new in the box. It was a little bit less than $5, about three. All the cardboard and everything is still in there. So here's the top, clear. And I hear everybody call these fairy lamps or fairy lights, but they're calling them something else, like I said. So let me take it out so you can look at it. And it was new in a box. Super excited about that. Here it is here. It's still got, it's got its literature. It's got a candle. It is taped. So let me get it out. Okay. A little tea light. They usually have great quality. Hmm. The 
Does this company still exist, or y'all talking about something else? Oh, look at this, guys. Maybe it's not what I was thinking. This looks like it's really cute. Oh, my goodness. It's so cute. I wasn't expecting the pedestal. And there's the sticker in the bottom, too. Oh. So is this the same thing? Hey, Mike, dude, it's a crazy card. How are you? Guys, if you want to see some... Um, some fabulous picking. Go subscribe to the crazy card there. He does some awesome picking. So, guys, again, I don't know if this is what is referred to as a fairy lamp. Uh, I don't know if that's a new term from collectors today or what they called it back then. But I'm assuming this is from the 80s, maybe 70s, made in Taiwan. I'm not sure. But it's really cute, and it does go with the little tea lamp. I mean, the little tea lamp light inside so are my presumptions correct or not i don't know because i've never actually seen anything so i always find like the tops but i never see anything like this so that's really cool i love that let me know in the, in the comments and let me grab another drink Thank you, moderators. I appreciate your help out there. Another pineapple thing I found for my daughter. And I'll probably give this to her for Christmas. It's a beautiful pineapple lamp. And it was $7. I think I paid full price, $7. It's the prettiest yellow color, though. Working fine. Beautiful shade as well, guys. No need, no need for a new shade or anything. So I love this a lot. This one is really cool. All right. Oh. Guys, if we get any trolls, just go ahead and block them. Don't even time them out. All right, I got this. I don't know why I like it because it's got a lion. Love lions. It's a little bag, and it's uh, from the library, New York Public Library. And it says in the back... If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. Cicero, I, I agree. So I love that little bag. I guess it could be a money bag too or something. And then I got a cute little water bottle, brand new, 99 cents. Still got its, its little tag at the bottom. So it tells you how much you should be drinking, right? And then it goes all the way down to refill. Super cute. I love it. So let's keep going. Yes, yes. Oh, really? I didn't know about the mortgage. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me know that. Well, thank you, Candy. Yes, it is beautiful. I did list it on Posh and at, uh, at my auction site. So if anybody's interested in it, let me know. And always feel free to make me an offer, guys as well okay let me see what i got i did get some bags i got a beautiful brighton bag and i'll show you that closer at my auction it's amazing brand new uh but i gotta show you the prada the prada is amazing the guy had just walked out with it guys look at that and i've never seen a prada like this ever i've never seen this style i guess i don't follow it right but I saw him carrying this out. He had just come from the back. He was carrying this and something. And I said, can I see the bag? I was just about to go pay. And he says, sure. And I think he had it for 35 or something. And I inspected it and everything about it told me genuine, absolutely genuine. And it is in great condition. Look at the way it snaps on the sides too, guys. So you can make it like an envelope or you can make it a big tote. It is a very heavy leather it's actually called washed leather so that's how i managed to uh, to find it google prada leather heavy leather i forgot what keywords i used till finally i came out with it's called washed leather and then i said this is the only thing that had me confounded a bit was the type of um what do you call it the id here the logo i'd never seen one with rivets like that but then I figured, you know what, for 30 bucks, I'll take a chance. And indeed, I did find one 
identical on Google search and very similar ones on eBay. And they are called, they're called washed leather by Prada. So super excited about that. The only flaw is a teeny scratch back here that you can barely see. And I'm sure will blend away because I mean, it, the lining is amazing as well. That's another thing I looked for the quality lining. They usually, if they're, and I have seen quite a few fake linings, fake bags. And the first thing that gives it away is the lining. It's like really thin and just not good. And the zipper's excellent as well. So all those were telltale signs to me that it was indeed genuine product. So happy to find this at my Goodwill. My, uh, my local, well, they're all local. I have one close to work. I have one. I also found a vintage one today. Isn't this one cute? This is a serious church lady bag. I love it, but everyone's using these lady bags as well. Found this one today. Oh, and I found this cute little mug. So I'm gearing up for Easter again. I couldn't help but get this one for my coffee station for when we change into spring. Isn't he adorable? Love it. And this is Cypress. 59 cents. See, sometimes their mugs are super cheap. How can you not, you know, bring in a new season for 59 cents? I love it. So I got that. I did find it a uh, bag. I will probably offer this one up at my next auction. This is a virgin jar. I'm trying to, to do the ones that I pay a little bit less for so I don't have to start them so high. But I did find a jewelry jar as a jewelry bag. I still call them jars as well. Like that. Oh, I wanted these so bad because I only have blue and I don't have enough plates. I didn't have the tablecloth in blue, so I did blue, so I did red and green on my on my table. But I only had some really tiny green and white anchor hawking vintage bowls so they needed like a little charger or something right so i found exactly four plates though my table seat six you know sometimes i just set it out for four so these are really nice i don't think they're a good brand or anything i can't even read it it looks like it's almost fading away but they're super heavy they almost feel like stoneware and uh, they were only five dollars so one two three four. actually there's five there's five so a dollar a piece super lipstick christmas red here so i got that as well Hey Don, how are you? Glad you're here. And then speaking with my sticking with my Christmas red, I got this fabulous bowl, and I'm really into the wood bowls too, guys. A long time ago, my cousin used to collect wood bowls. She was really into decorating with them, and they look fabulous. But then I realized they also sell well. This is David and Carrie International. I don't know if it's a good brand. I didn't look it up. I just fell in love with the Christmas red color. And I'm probably going to fill it up with uh, Christmas ornaments. And, yeah, I think I'll fill it up with some vintage Christmas ornaments. Of course, I'll probably put some filler first. Uh, you know, some kind of uh, maybe crumbled paper or something and then put something over that. Maybe um, a towel, a tea towel or something. And then put the Christmas ornaments all over. Put it on my coffee table or something. I don't know if it's walnut or what. but. It is a beautiful, beautiful red. And then I showed this bowl in one of the groups, and that, that group has like 50,000 50, members and only one comment. <laughs> only got one comment. I guess you gotta have some clout to, to get people to talk to you in that group, I don't know. But I wanted to know about this bowl because look how unique this bowl is. Isn't it cute? And it was only like three bucks, and it's signed. And the shape is amazing. Okay, it's got all of this, like, um, I don't know what it's called, parquet. I want to say parquet because of the floors, but it's got a lot of intricate work to it, guys. And it's even, not just square, but curved. And then let me show you the signature right here. At first I thought it said Arnold. Then I thought it said Noel. And I really don't know what it said. Can you see it there? I have no idea what it says, so I was not able to find it. <laughs> but either way, I like it. And I love bowls and I love baskets because you can use them. You know, I can use this to store my jewelry as I'm opening a jar or something, you know? 
I'll put it on my table with some fruit. Who knows? But I just love it. And if it does have resale value, I'll sell it. But I only spent, you know, like I said, $3 on it. Let's see what else I got. There was, oh, this thing back here. Let me get this. Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. And I don't believe it goes together. But it's so funny that it fits. It looks very Art Nouveau. It's that rose pink as well. The lid is. Now, the lid, I think, has a tiny chip. But I bought it anyway because the bowl doesn't have a chip. And I'm going to use the bowl. But look at all that beautiful design on this, guys. This was about $3. Okay, so it fits perfect on here. I don't believe it goes together. Somehow or another, they got married. But look at this one. This one's in great condition. This one is numbered L76, trademark C in USA. I don't know what that means or what it is, but I love the design of it. I think it's really beautiful. It's designed everywhere, all around, inside and out. No chips, there is crazing. So that really tells me it's probably from the 50s or 60s. Really, really beautiful though. So I just love it. I mean, I wish it wasn't chipped because I would keep it, but I will sit it out at my garage sale, just the, just the lid itself. But I'm gonna keep the bowl. I think the bowl is gorgeous. And I, again, if you know anything about these marks, Please let me know, because I don't. <laughs> All right, I have that one. Then I found this cute bunny. This one is from Levine Gifts. It says, hand-painted, lead-free Sunnyvale, California. So again, going into the next decorating season, I'll plop him somewhere in my kitchen, maybe for my husband's um, artificial sweeteners that he uses for his coffee or something those in there or something. I think it's cute. You think so? Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's possible. I'm just wondering, did they do, just look at that beautiful lid. I mean, I just love it. It's so Art Nouveau, don't you think? Look at that. It's just like a swirl. It could very possibly have gone together. They fit perfectly. It's just the color, you know? What do you think, Don? Some Pottery March USA is McCoy. Okay. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I saw a McCoy. No, it was a hull. Hull or a hull? One of them. But it was chipped. So beautiful, too. I, was, I just wanted to cry because it was gorgeous. And it was a tiny chip, but I just don't do chips. Can't do chips. Um, is that the end? I believe that is the end. Oh, no. Here's another thing. I love this little marble candle. Didn't get the candle with it. I already had the candle. But this is a, I guess it's marble. It could be something else. It's a big heavy stone there in the middle. But I really like it. What do you think it is? Gosh, it's heavy. It doesn't say anything in the back. It's just the back there. But it's just one. And uh, I put it over there on one of my little tables. I have a cucumber candle ready to light up with it. That's another thing I got. And yeah, I think that's it. I can't see anything else. I think that's it. I think I can start getting this stuff out of here and making room for my Christmas decorations in here. The next video I bring you guys will probably be for my other room. It'll be a jewelry jar and I, I will hopefully have my background set with my Christmas stuff because this little shirt that I got off posh has really set me in the Christmas mood. I just love it. Like I tell you, it's peanuts, it's silver trees, and uh, yeah, that's Christmas for me. So that's what gets me in the mood. <laughs> now I gotta go watch them. The Peanuts Christmas, right? Charlie Brown Christmas? So I can really smile. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. I hope you took the time to subscribe if you haven't done so. And please hit that um, Thumbs up on your way in or out. If you got here late, watch the replay. It's worth it. It was a huge haul. I got some fabulous things, and I hope I can make some profit on them. Otherwise, I'm just going to love them like I love this shirt. Thank you again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.